30 seconds to battle. Again, just trying to get this outpost. Keep standing still. I'll throw that shadow poison on you. Victoria? No. Not gonna get that extra stack. However, this could be three bounty rooms for CDC if they're looking to play a little bit forward to grab this one right here. However, they don't. Two apiece. In that game where he did play this clinks in the four what was uh what was the pool that he went was it medallion first or um all the like but it was medallion before boots but this time he's got boots uh queued up <laughs> Poison two and three on these stacks. Now a fourth. Oh. Good. that one. James is being very good on this Rubik. Doing what he's been able to accomplish. Retaliate now at 8 for SRF. They haven't gotten for a kill just yet with that telekinesis into the uh, hoofstomp retaliate. But that is the fact that James is still sitting here just level 1. James just wants another courier. The way this courier moves too, it scurries across the floor. Hate it. If. Give away. Yeah. Seven? 15 Maybe I don't know. I feel like I'm not counting Jeez. That works, let's take a look uh, over Because nothing to say sin here at 16 and through to the weavers 11 and 1 Up by about a half level on this weaver to start Dyer's middle tower is under siege Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. Now, trying to get something done, but it's not going to help when you get hit by that torrent and the tide bringer. You get a lot of damage being done on the XM very quickly. Fissure and Victoria in a bad spot. He's away from Ame. Can eat that tree to get across and under the tower safely. He uses that disruption and out on to Jeep, who is taking some damage from the but really not much. Illusion! 
Radiance Courier has fallen. <laughs> I noticed though over in the top lane was Thurship was trying to grab the tree maybe and take it away, but he was able to get the pull. Uh, Victoria was able to get the pull. Is it gonna be enough though? They can still go up and towards this tower, they won't get the last shot in. Ame is still trying to commit on this with you. And Shadow Poison will get that kill. For support finally comes in for Victoria. One stack of Shadow Poison getting the kill. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure I've, I've seen that. One staff. I have a hoops on the end telekinesis though. Oh, full low. Telekinesis good job. Ooh, XM! On the high ground! Oh, innocence! I've been in a lot of trouble. SRF ties with Jinkyu because of rotation. This is rotations from everybody. We were just talking about seeing these heroes mid. Now we see them over bottom. Jinkyu can spot it because they don't have the vision to get the kill there. But Sylar oh, tried to earth shock down on the high ground. Now he's forced to TP away. XM doesn't have the damage. Gucci on cooldown. But it does seem more. Again, those of XM. XM does have the time lapse. See if they get this kill. That's vision for right now, nothing to say. It doesn't have X anyway. Oh, Silar! Shadow Poison and get the kill there on a Silar. Another big one for CDC. Gives it over to the Ursa. <clears throat> Gives it over to the Ursa immediately. Sound of dire. And so Rep goes with the hoops on. They've got the disruption. Jin Cubic the rotation, trying to get the kill here out of the center. He backs off successfully. It's uh rotation from Jin He's trying to be a bit more active around the map. Innocence is level 3, level 4. Shadow Demon, Rubik. Experience, what's this? Bit of an event. that enrage they left a poor man shield on the ground that innocence needs to go and get Jinku meanwhile he's joined over to the bottom got XM here as well 
such a huge G across, and I'm not certain G2 spotted that, so XM can make his way all the way into the trees. They to get the kill. Toya taking a lot of damage. He's already used that disruption. Innocence will not get the kill. It's the finisher from Big Beyond that takes out Victoria. They've got the telekinesis. XM trying to focus on a Sylar with the living armor and the earth shock. How is he getting away from this? XM, what are you doing? Time lapse ends up in the hands of Faith Beyond. For a second, it just feels like he is running in tunnel vision on that Ursa. Now James looks for the outpost. Fissure puts him on the extra side, but they've got the boat coming through as well as the X, and they'll get the kill regardless. Structures have been fortified. So, uh, uh there, Donald's up a little damage, so he's gonna come and defend this tower with the Elder Sile. Sure. For 25 seconds, he does have X Tidebringer as well as the Torn. He pops the double damage, and with that, you see they just retreat off this bottom tier one. a little bit Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Nearby, so away. Wind dagger for the earth shaker already. Dyer's middle tower For just a little shock to see it so quick. There was boots right in the uh, blink dagger. Radiant's courier has been a powerful murder. Sour losing his courier. Stampede committed. You get anybody out of it. Sour losing his courier, which. The uh, bringing help. And guards. Radiance Middle Tower is under siege. By himself, Ancient's Grass will slow him up enough where Innocence is fine in the trees. Uh, yeah, just, uh, he got it at 1140? Ah. Characteristic of uh, how well Faith Beyond plays, but he does not do the math work. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Now it's on cooldown, and they know he's got that blimp. Well, that was uh, um, the equivalent to opening door number two when window. Jack thought was three. Dyer's top tower. Wait. 
thought was uh, Gwen. Not the same show. It's making deal with a lot. Two different shows, but I forgot. It's a zone. There we go. It's making deal with a zone. I don't know if you have that show over there, but that's a little bit of uh, American daytime television for you. Yes, and good ship coming down on SRF. Get the kill onto the Centaur. Victoria, he rotated, so this might be problematic for him. Use the disruption. XM comes in. He's going to help the game. We're doing a lot of damage on to this Rubik, and with the Timebringer, they'll get the kill. Oh, please come with love to have the Echo Slam now. Tyler sitting low. Oh, they will move forward. Beyond without a fissure for 10 more seconds. So they the Silar. Now the turn will go to XM once again. And he can't get the time lapse off, so he don't even need the Echo Slam. Looking at Ame, he's going to get credited pretty well. Stampede just committed to the figure of Sun 2. And now they'll take out Ame. I think the state finally falls to Victoria. However, they're going to get the kill of the Shadow Dean too. So I, I'm pretty sure that was a full team wipe in favor of Eagle. Dyer's top tower is under siege. Dyer has fortified its structures. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has been destroyed. Say, coming over. He gets spotted. The XM dead. There, they've got the torn as well as the ghost ship coming through and the damage comes in to clean up XM. They get that kill and a uh, quick shout out to the production. They, they added to the chat how many couriers will die this night. So, uh, good vote going on. We get that drop down. Christ. Very big fan. Let's get five or more. Five thousand net worth lead for Eom, ten to four. I don't really, unless this game somehow makes it to way later. I don't really see how CC roll their way back. And they bank on just the troll. There's so much here to just take care of him. So neck twinks. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Yeah, I mean, this vote was also initiated like a couple minutes ago. There's already been, I think, five courier kills. So if you're saying anything less than five uh, to all the 59 people there, uh, you're you just you guessed on a multiple choice where you knew one answer was already. Wrong. The 
console. It's just a problem. Stampede committed, they will go over me. Can they get the kill under the bunker? They've got the telekinesis, and they will finish off nothing and save the monster. Fuel the torrent. Will that be uh, the beginning of what could potentially be a comeback here for CDC? It just it seems like such a pipe at the moment, and they really need this troll to build up an economy. From it. I think if they had just thrown the fissure or gone after XM, they wouldn't have been able to get the kill. Instead, they come away with a uh, consolation prize of James. Bottom tower is under siege. Cut from the same cloth. Ooh, Echo. Ame? Got the outrets available. Can you survive? Can he? Comes through from Faith Beyond, and they still don't kill him just yet. Battle Trigger comes in. Faith Beyond taking a little bit of damage. Exxon comes over. They've got themselves to summon the totem. They'll get the kill on Ame. Form. If you want to fade beyond, meet your hammer started. Time lapse to leave. XM again. We're just not feeling a presence from the Weaver. I'm gonna avenge you, Ame. Never mind. I'm out. Time lapse. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. Dire structures have been fortified. So time lapse is what he said too. As I'm gonna structures. Dire you're structures. Now they go for the CO2 tower over me. How much damage does he have? 35 death pack to me. Dire's middle tower is under attack. Dire's middle tower has fallen. He just... He just wasn't like viable, really. In any sense of the word. Are just obliterated. Time to defend. 
top take the racks and then you destroyed. take the right to the stage left. He's focused going to the Ursa and everybody else over on the other side. Dead once again, no buyback on any of them, and this is another fight goes the way of E Home. And quite honestly, at this point, it just feels like they're, and it's not just at this point, it's been heading this way. It feels like there's no other proceeding to E creeps into the land. It heals like the salt sea air. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. Call GG. Victoria's dead too. One to one. Best of three. 